Uh, this is a little test of a shout. Any song, I'm going to perform it as Morgan Freeman. Any song in the world. I'm in the hell! But out of hell, okay. Where <laughs> <laughs> This is Morgan Freeman. I am not Morgan Freeman. I am Impressionist Charlie Hopkinson. Had to think about that for a second. The big problem for a Morgan Freeman Impressionist is that I am British. Which makes learning American impressions a lot harder. Particularly if you're performing them to an American audience. I started learning the Morgan Freeman impression eight years ago when I uploaded this video. Earl told me exactly what it was when we sent me down here. There then. No, it's actually not that bad considering it's only a couple of months practice. Do you really think your Morgan Freeman impression is perfect? No, I'm not some kind of narcissist. I mean, it's just good for the thumbnail, right? I learnt it from the godfather of Morgan Freeman impressions, Joshua Robert Thompson. Talk about this carpet, for example. Oh, that carpet. Since then, I performed over 3,000 voiceovers as Morgan Freeman, and I was even the narrator of the Channel 4 and Netflix television show, Lookalikes. I don't know if it's still on there, but... One of Andy's top lookalikes, Ed Sheeran, and his brother Alex was stolen in a wheelchair. In this video, I'm going to show you the best of the live reactions to my Morgan Freeman impression over the years. Now, the last stand-up video got a lot of likes, so let's set a like target. Let's see if on this video, we can keep the likes under 14. Now, if we can get 20,000, I might even break even on the time spent doing this video. Don't wanna waste your time, so I'll leave these timestamps in the description. Anyway, sit back, chill out. Make yourselves a nice American cup of tea. Come for the tea, stay for the laser show. I do a great impression of a hot dog. So the first time I ever did stand-up was in 2014. Now, I'm not sure if you can really call this stand-up, but I was trained to be a maths teacher with a charity known as Teach First. I think in America it's called... There we go, Teach for America. Where basically they give you six weeks of training and then they throw you into a disadvantaged, often quite difficult school um, and basically you sink or swim. But in the six weeks of training, they had a Teach First talent show, and I was the representative for Yorkshire and the Humber. So over two days, I threw together an impression set all about teaching. Usually, good stand-up has hundreds, if not thousands of hours of writing and honing. So, let's take a look at that. Lucky enough that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I managed to catch up with an ex-participant, um, that he had such yeah, I look like a rabbit in the rabbit in the guillotine. My eyes are, uh, oh, you can, look at my legs, they've got they're like jelly. My weak arms. They're heavy. I'm on my sweater already. Amazing story about his time on Teach First. Just a little bit of background. Um, he, he did Teach First a number of years ago and he was placed in Shawshank Academy. <laughs> One of the most supportive audiences that I've ever had, to be fair. And we came to Shawshank in 1947. <laughs> I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time when he died. It's that. far too quick. Far too quick, and that's because this is going from my bedroom to in front of 400 people, which is quite the jump, wearing those stupid red trousers. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got a little bit of confidence now, has he? <laughs> Look like a stiff breeze would blow him over. I do believe that first term was the worst for Andy. I also believe if things had gone on that way, this place would have got the better of him. I often talk to Andy about his students. Sometimes it makes him sad, though, his students being gone. But then he has to remind himself that some birds are meant to be caged. Their feathers are just... It's far too quick. Not deep enough. Oh. It comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy teaching, or get busy dying. Ah, oh, nice. Bit of pandering to finish up. <laughs> it's not actually that bad for a first attempt in front of 400 people, but it's, it's a bit cringy looking back now. So after two years of teaching, a fatter, more haggard version of me went on YouTube full-time and decided to give stand-up a proper go. 
I started it properly in 2017. And the first Morgan Freeman joke I wrote was this one. I struggled to engage students with the subject of mathematics that I taught, and I thought it because of the dull, droning sound of my voice. I thought if I could have one voice to teach me algebra, what would it be? Well, first of all, what is that voice I'm doing on stage? And for some reason, when I first started stand-up, I tried to do this, like, character act, uh, like I was Alan Watts. What makes you inch? How would you truly like to spend your life? You see, I'd like to lead an out of doors life, run around with horses. Alan Watts? No, too niche. Yes, it was Morgan Freeman. <laughs> His early next lesson is not going very well. I mean, clocked in my peripherals, two students have already fallen asleep. One of them hasn't even sat down yet. <laughs> yeah. Got nothing to lose here, I'm just gonna go for it. Counts out with a simple choice, maybe. <laughs> Well, they know who it is. That's after I told them, to be fair. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. <laughs> and this goddamn life. I, look, I looked up and for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this guy in the background here. I, I'm, he may have been on something. In fact, I'm fairly sure he was, because when I asked him what he did instead of going to school earlier in the set. What did he do instead? <laughs> Smoke drugs. <laughs> the first time ever, I had all 57 eyes on me in the room. <laughs> One of the students had like a, like a... Ninety-eight percent. I'm not greedy. I'm just going to go. It's going well for once. And uh, so I just got to make this mathematical without thinking. I plow straight on. And the circumference of the circle. <laughs> a two times pi multiplied by the radius. <laughs> so if the radius is three centimeters, but is now five centimeters, after twenty years in prison. <laughs> What is the change in circumference of Andy Dufresne's butthole? <laughs> for the first time when I used to do this joke, I got the formula for, a, for the circumference of a circle wrong, which is pretty bad as an ex math teacher. It's an alright joke, considering I've only done stand up for a few months, but there's too much build up for not enough of a punchline and it's a bit lowest common denominator. Cringe level, seven out of eight. Um... Now, at the beginning of this year, I've been doing stand-up for two and a half years. I don't know if you heard about this, but we had like um, a worldwide pandemic. But I've racked up about 200 to 250 gigs up until this point. But now I'm gonna play you the latest material for the Morgan Freeman impression. In fairness, this is in a proper comedy club. Some of you have been asking about this. Uh, it's at The Stand in Newcastle. And yeah, it's a creepy picture of a cowboy at the back. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me sad, but then I have to remind myself that some buildings aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. And this is the incredible true story of how I came to be fired from pets at home. <laughs> introduce myself formally. Uh, my name's Charlie. I'm uh, West Yorkshire's fifth most successful uh, Morgan Freeman lookalike. <laughs> Uh, this is a little test, a shout out any song, I'm going to perform it as Morgan Freeman. Any song in the world. Wow. I move to hell! But out of hell, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, like a bad honey. <laughs> uh, 
Money they were gonna have that one. <laughs> Is that even a lyric? I don't, I don't think I, I even got the name of the song right, did I? I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, I love, uh, I love uh, deep conversations. Uh, my girlfriend was telling me the other day about the book uh, Sapiens. Uh, apparently, uh, in hunter-gatherer societies, the pregnant female would sleep with as many men as possible. So none of the men would know whose the child was. They would all raise the child and give that child a greater chance of survival. And uh, I said to her, that's a weird thing to just bring up. <laughs> I only asked you how Sarah's Hindu went. <laughs> Just laughing at my own joke there. Yeah, no, that's a good joke. True story. I like it. One day I will get a clip that uh, actually has good audio. I think the key thing that I've learned is to do it slowly, deeply, and just take your time. But that's it, 2.5 years of stand-up. Um, it has come a long way, uh, but there is also a long way to go. If there's any topic you want me to write a Morgan Freeman routine on, I don't know, drop them in the comments and I'll, if there's any comedic promise in them, maybe, maybe I'll give it a go. Make sure you keep those likes under 14. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, do come back for other impression stuff. Uh, but I'll see you next time. Please uh, drop a like. Also, I do a great impression of a Charlie. Hey.